on January 31st, 2018, I wrote on my Facebook page, quote, President Barrow, we are not going back to dictatorship. The error of being called for questioning by the police because of an interview in the newspaper should be gone and forgotten. Gambians fought through sweat and blood for democracy and not a replica of Jamie's disdainful dictatorial tendencies. Unquote. Peter and I wrote this in reaction to the arrest of Dr. Cisse for an interview he gave with the Voice newspaper. Peter, Dr. Cisse and I both believed at the time that his arrest was unjustifiable, unconstitutional, and was meant for nothing but to undermine or silence the t dissent. This why, when I heard your interview with Dr. Sisi, in which he was trying to defend the political prosecution, or persecution if you want to call it that, of the Voice newspaper, I was really disappointed and saddened. Because the same argument that Dr. Sisi is making today, that, you know what, the police have the right to question anybody that what these people write or wrote the story could have far-reaching implications or so, where the same argument being used against him in 2018. But Dr. Sisi did not agree with them. And this was why when Dr. Sisi was released by the police, when he was asked to go home, he insisted that unless he was apologized to by the police, that he was not going to leave the police station. Many people will ask, what is wrong with Dr. Sisi? What has changed? Well, that is for Dr. Sisi to answer. One thing that I know for a fact, though, is that the Dr. Sisi that I know, if he were still in the opposition, would have been one of the loudest critics of the government, especially with the arrest of these two journalists. There is no way that anybody who values democracy, human rights, and free press can justify this attempt again by the government to silence dissent. And even the argument that is being made that the story could undermine trust or could undermine confidence of potential voters is quite disquieting. Peter, if President Barrow were to wake up tomorrow and tell the whole world that I'm not seeking a third term, he would have been praised not only by Gambians, but the world over. Because especially for the Gambia, he would have set a precedence that has eluded our country for too long. He would have given the Gambia an opportunity that we had not had for a very long time. Because lest we forget, Jawara was president for 30 years, Jame 22. And when people voted in 2016, part of what was in the mind of most people who voted was maybe this would be the beginning of the end of self perpetuating rule. So Peter again, those who advise the president, including Dr. Sisi, must be guided by what is in the greatest interest of the Gambian people. And massaging the ego of the president in this matter is both counterproductive and will never enhance the democratic credentials of the president. If anything, it is a stain on our republic and a stain on the democracy that we are trying to build in our country. And I hope that Dr. Sisi and all those who are advising the president would always remember their oath, that they will serve without fear, favor, affection or ill will. The Gambian people deserve much better than trying to spin the violation of rights of people. Even this argument that there has never been a prisoner or a journalist prisoner or activist in prison or political prisoner in the country is laughable. A simple reminder, Dr. Sisi, just last year, Alaji Bora of Kirfatu was abducted, held in Kominikado for over six days, or about six days, in violation of the Constitution. This was why the courts ruled in his favor and asked that your government compensate him for the violation of his rights. And on the issue of corruption, how can you sit before the whole country and claim that there is no corruption in this government? When your government is prosecuting officials for corruption, when a former minister is at the verge of being prosecuted for corruption. You see, we can defend, but let's not defend to the extent of making a mockery of ourselves and a mockery of our country. And I hope that the Dr. Sisi I know would come back and be guided by what is in the interest of all Gambians and not what would keep him in his position as State Minister. With that, I thank you so very much.